Hey, what's up? Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be going over um, the Boss Katana uh, MK2 and how I can use the effects return for my pedal platform in tandem with the Boss Katana built-in preamp and the built-in everything. Um, essentially using what is effectively an AB switch on one of my pedals. On top of that, I'm also going to be going into... Um, how to use the stereo expand feature on the back of the uh, katana line out uh, to expand your amp into another power amp and power a separate cab. And I'm not talking about another katana, I'm talking about a totally different type of amp and how it all just works together. So sit tight, I'm gonna be in my garage and uh, we'll go through it, thanks. All right, so here's my setup. I have my pedal board. Um, I have my Boss Katana amp sitting on top of my Mesa Boogie oversized cap. Uh, the way I have this set up, I'm going straight into the pedal board from my guitar, which is a Charvel um, Pro Mod 2, Style 2, um, Telecaster style, reverse headstock. Cool guitar, so I'm running that straight into my pedal board. And the way this pedal board is configured, I have this Type Metal Pro 2, which has its own side track send and return uh, effects loop on it. So basically, you can turn it into an AB switch, and that's kind of what I've done here. So what I'm doing is running the, the, the entirety of the pedal board going into the effects return, but then I have this other send going straight into the input on the katana. And so what's that, what that does essentially is right now, with the Type Metal 2 bypassed, I'm playing through the katana. In fact, I can... I can play the channels that are just on my katana. Now, if I engage the Type Metal Pro 2, I'm now just playing through the tight metal circuit and everything on the pedal board is going into the effects return, including the Epic Boost preamp. Now I take it off and now I'm back on the katana. So that's cool. Um, I think everybody knows the functionality of this. You know, you can use any kind of AB switch to run a pedal board into your effects return on the katana and then loop the other channel over to the input on the katana and use the katana as like a second amp to itself. Um, it's not super handy necessarily unless you have a really specific uh, like tone that you want that you just can't quite get on the katana or if you want to kind of just have a very clean preamp sound that's different than the katana's built-in preamp. And, and there are some advantages here. In fact, I don't, um, I don't like every iteration of high gain on the katana i like the tight metal pro 2 and i like the uh the bonsai pedal in front of that for uh using my baritone guitars because it just has a more naturalistic tube sound to it um you know even though it's not tube but it is an all analog circuit the other thing about this that i wanted to go over is how to use the stereo expand feature on the line out send your raw signal to another amp um, and then basically have, you know, an, you know, another amp. So the way Boss uh, configured their line out with the stereo expand feature, you can run all your stereo effects or anything that has oscillation or panning modulation um, by running the stereo expand to another Boss Katana into its power amp in section, and then you can have basically all your stereo effects do stuff. Well, I don't have much use for that. I mean, it's cool. But you don't have to have a Boss Katana. You could have any amp that has a power amp in section that you can uh, plug into. And I think you might have saw that I had this um, Seymour Duncan uh, yeah, Power Stage 200 on my pedal board. And so I'm going to go into what that's all about. So the second thing I have going on here, I have my 
pedal board going into the effects loop or into the effects return. I have my AB switch on the type metal running my signal into the katana like normal. But the other cool thing I have going on here is from the line out with the stereo expand feature turned on, it is running into the Seymour Duncan Power Stage 200 power amp. That is giving me the ability to run the Boss Katana signal without a cab simulation into my Mesa Boogie cab. Um, <laughs> and it's giving me 200 extra watts of power. So let me turn down the power amp on the floor here. So we have the Boss Katana doing its thing with distortion maybe, maybe channel one. But since I have the line out going with the stereo expand on to the uh, Seymour Duncan. I now have this cab running the, the Boss Katana out just as I would any other speaker. The other cool thing about this is all of my effects running into the effects return they all work so everything that's in the effects return even when I turn on the uh, the type metal pro comes out the line out into there without a cab sim. And so really what it allows me to do is, um, you know, with this AB switch function, I can, I can run it into the effects return as a, as a standalone preamp with, you know, everything that I want dialed in for that particular sound. And then I can, you know, click it back over to just go straight into the uh, Katana itself and still be able to run it out to an, a separate power amp and it, all that stuff just cycles through with each other and it's it's pretty cool so um yeah if you have any questions leave them in the comments or you know you want to me to clarify anything that i'm saying here because i'm not the greatest at uh communicating some of this stuff but um yeah hopefully uh hopefully you got something out of it uh, anyway later